Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am about to pop out to Sainsbury's. I have a couple of things that I need to pick up. I also have some shapewear bits to return as well because I didn't need them. But every time I have been into Sainsbury's recently, I've had to really, really stop myself from going and checking out some of the stuff that they have there. So they always have like quite cute fashion bits. So I'm gonna go take a look, see what they have in store at the moment. Um, also it's kind of like changing over to all the like autumn stuff now as well. So see what they've got new in, but also they have a really good kind of habitat section in there as well. So if I see any kind of like homey bits, I'm gonna maybe treat myself or see. But yeah, like I popped in literally for two seconds the other day and I had to basically just like close my eyes and walk past because the home section in particular looked amazing. So I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna take you guys with me, um, show you what's new in store, what's cute. And then when I get back, if I do get anything, which will be a miracle if I don't get anything, um, I will show you guys.
Right guys, I've just gotten back. I love how I went out in a jumper literally as soon as I got in the car, I had to take it off. It's still very, very warm, but like muggy warm. Anyway, so um, Sainsbury's, the amount of home stuff they had that I fell in love with was a lot. There was so much stuff, but I still feel like we're in a place of the house where we don't have a single completely finished room. So I don't wanna, there was so many like decor bits I wanted and I didn't because I don't wanna like waste money and like change my mind later down the line. So I did cave and get a few bits, but there are so many, like they just look really high end. Obviously they have habitat in there and they had loads of really nice like ceramic vases, just like, everything so if you're on the lookout for really affordable but high-end looking decor um habitat slash sainsbury's is a vibe the fashion part is it two two e two i think it's two anyway um really disappointed with the amount of fashion stuff they had in store it was just like there's quite a few like cardigans but not like cute ones bit more like dated um there wasn't really that much honestly that caught my eye at all i saw a really nice black long line um gilet which i've seen a really in right now i did really really like that and that's something i would wear a lot um i picked up one fashion bit so i saw these jeans um i've been looking for nice kind of like high-waisted black jeans but i really like this kind of vintage wash so I thought I'd give these a go. Um, I got them in a size 18 regular and they are a, are a slim stretch. Um, they look super high-waisted, like super high-waisted. So I'll have to report back and let you know what I think of those. They do feel pretty nice and stretchy. I did pick up a 20 and they did look really big. So hopefully an 18 will be all right. I can't remember if I said, but they were 20 pounds. Um, but yeah, I just love this kind of slightly more vintagey wash. So that was the only fashion bit that caught my eye. I also picked up a couple of dry shampoos. These are the Revolution ones. One is a Volume and one is a Revive dry shampoo. They were on offer for like £2.50 each. I just had to change my camera battery, so that always happens. Um, I got a few home bits. Right, where am I going to start? Um, I'll start with the most boring one first. I got a little matte black soap dish. I have like a little kind of like nail brush thing and I don't want it just sat on the side. So I thought like a little soap dish would look quite nice and have like a nice little nail brush on it. Um, this is from Habitat. It's a soft touch black soap dish. I did film um, some of the matte black stuff in there. That is my go-to place to go and get kind of like accessories for the bathroom. So our toilet brushes are the kind of like skinny long ones from there. They look really discreet and modern and they don't look like a horrible plasticky toilet brush and stuff. So if you're on the lookout for little bathroom accessories, I would definitely recommend going there. So this was originally six pounds, but it was on offer, so it was only four pounds. I swear it said it was like three pounds on the label, but I might be making that up. My biggest kind of splurge was glasses. So we have loads of the Ikea kind of small glasses but we don't have any nice tall glasses. The only ones we have are like pint glasses. So I saw these, I don't think you can see like the shape of them that well on camera. They've got that really nice kind of, slightly like mushroomy shape, I guess, um, which I absolutely love. Just like a nice plain glass, but has a tiny bit of detailing in the shape. And also, they stack perfectly as well. So that's really, really useful. They're from Habitat. It says they're handmade. I didn't check to see if you could put these in the dish. Yes, you can. Dishwasher safe. Thank God, because I am not hand washing glasses. Anyway, those were originally four pounds each, but they had them on offer for three pounds each. So I picked up eight of them. They also had the small ones and they had them in a couple of different colors, like blue and orange, I think. And I did notice they also had like matching crafts or vases and stuff as well. So if you want to pick up like a set, then they're on offer right now. So you'll save a bit of money. I did see there were quite a few bits on offer, like some of their bedding, which I was tempted, but they didn't have exactly what I kind of had in mind. Okay, so this is a slightly interesting find. This is a tapas dish. So there is one area in particular I've been keeping in mind for styling. I've told you guys about this before, but when we eventually get around to tiling our backsplash and doing our um, DIY 
like cooker hood we're going to do open shelving on either side and it's not going to be like functional storage open shelving it's like cute decor open shelving so i thought something like this just a nice kind of low level dish has a little handle on it it's a tapas dish i don't i don't think you can actually put it in the oven or anything but anyway dishwasher and microwave safe I, it's really difficult to explain but it's kind of it feels textured so it's kind of like this soft grayish color with little speckles and it's kind of like rough and textured on the outside and then the inside's like a shiny ceramic glaze has like a little handle on it but yeah it's like a little mini kind of ceramic saucepan thing so i thought this would be good because obviously we can use it if we want we can just pull it off the shelf but i thought that's a really nice kind of neutral bit of decor I love the textured vibe that was only eight pounds and then another thing potentially for the open shelving or i'm not sure i saw this i don't know what it is about this but i just loved it they call this a catch-all so either this would be great on an entryway table put your like keys or whatever you want to grab before you leave the house could work really well for that i think i might use it on our open shelving because again it's just got like a nice shape to it um the wood's really nice it's this kind of like slightly lime washy wood again that's from habitat as well shock habitat are like on it with all the decor bits um i'm not sure where i'm going to use this it might go on my coffee table my lounge it could literally go anywhere but i saw it i loved it so i picked it up that was 14 pounds um and i think that's it just double check my bag in case i left something behind um the only other thing i got was a card for some friends um their card selection is also really really cute in there as well um but yeah even stuff like i didn't have enough time to properly browse like the stationery section but they have the cutest like stationery notebooks in there as well so overall pretty good haul if you ask me i definitely didn't go in expecting to get anything in particular but i'm really really happy with my finds there's a couple of other bits that I kind of want to get like the big terracotta vases and things like that but I just don't know where I would put that and unless I have an intention to put it somewhere I just don't really see the point of buying it so yeah loads of offers on at the moment definitely worth going and checking it out um if you are on the lookout for some cute decory bits I'm really tough for my finds but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss an upcoming video if you want to see how i end up styling some of these bits i will be um jumping on my home channel with that so don't forget to go and subscribe to my home channel it's still relatively new so any support is really appreciated on that as well um, i will leave the details for it down below in the description and i will catch you guys in the next one